Hey, welcome. Adam here. Welcome to Dadpreneur, episode number, <clears throat> excuse me, episode number 81. It's been, uh, God, it's been about two weeks since I've done one. I think it's the longest gap I've went in uh, since starting last August. Uh, it's February, I don't know, 23rd. So been doing it for eight months, not daily like I planned, but hey, we're getting there. Um, we'll be at 100 soon. Trying to do them as much as possible. Trying not to force it where I'm putting out just bullshit. So, um, I guess that's my excuse. Got the little picture of Ashton up there, a new addition. But uh, anyways, I went, met up with a guy. Um, I've known him online. Actually, I just messaged him from Facebook. I met up with him for lunch today. He is um, he's from Denver, Colorado. We were, we've been internet friends for, I just looked through for Facebook messages, and he messaged me June 12th. Uh, yeah, June 12th of 2012. So almost five years ago, he bought a digital product of mine. Um, that was the first time I put out a digital product. He bought, uh, he had messaged, Facebook messaged me about something. Um, so we've been kind of internet friends, Facebook friends for five years now. We've never met. He recently, him and his family recently moved to Vegas last August, and they happened to be like three miles up the damn road. I mean, they're like almost neighbors. And um, we've been trying to meet up. He's got three kids, wife and family. He works at a... Um, I forgot. He, he works at a business. He's an entrepreneur on the side. And um, we've been trying to meet up and it just just our schedules, you know, and I was really lazy with it, dropping the ball. And finally, we met up for lunch today. Um, and it was really nice. He only had an hour of time, you know, but uh, we had met up for lunch. It was really nice. And we just kind of bullshitted about life, business, being an entrepreneur, family, kids, Vegas, um, investments, uh, um, real estate, stuff like that. Just, just guy stuff, you know. And it was really nice. We were talking about all kinds, of, like I said, life and everything and um, how much, how similar we were. He was in economics commerce business in like 2006 and then he got into like local marketing where I started with local marketing and then got into e-commerce so it was kind of flipped around but we we had very similar um the e-commerce stories were very similar he bought a bunch of stuff from China it was like I forgot what he said he sold um stuff for your hair um hair straighteners or something but he sold it from he bought it from China this was in 06 he was selling on eBay and he did really really well with it a couple million dollars and it was just really cool that we were um a lot more similar than we thought and we just kind of started talking about life and uh, I was sharing him some things um, um, fear of success and some, just some things going on uh, I, my personal life is a fucking mess right now and so I was just kind of sharing him some things with him um, with personal life and business and how they like really tie together and how it's like held me back and how it's just kind of messed with um, my personal life goes down business goes down they're all related i've talked about this many 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 times before the core four is like a wheel i talk about and if one area is um, lacking, um, it, your wheel's going to bounce up and down, you know, and, and all your areas are going to lack, and that's certainly been the case. Um, and he, so we were just talking, and he was like, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about, you know, something that I thought I'm the only one that I'm going through with this, you know, um, it's, I'm alone on this island, uh, I think I've made a video about this before, uh, most men think they are alone, they are on this island, they cannot, nobody else can relate to them, you know, they're the only ones going through this problem, and it's such bullshit, like, there's so many men out there, <laughs> they're so similar, and it was amazing, like, we were both, um, we didn't want to leave uh, lunch, and we're like, let's do this again, you know, where we have more time, more than like an hour window, you know, maybe on a weekend or something, and just kind of sit and bullshit about life, and entrepreneurship, and the struggles, and the, um, the mindset stuff, you know, I was telling them how big mindset is um, and how it's really messed with my mindset or how my mindset is um, like runs my business um, and if I have a negative mindset it's tough and he was just nodding his head you know and I'm going god this guy gets me you know he really gets me you know and so just kind of cool to meet with a uh, online friend of five years to meet in person and just hit it off right away I met with another guy Nick a buddy of mine I think we've been friends internet friends for three or four years um, we met last September at like a mastermind out here in ex about spit and image story with this Kyle guy it was so similar um, him and Nick and I we met for I don't know it was a couple hours at a mastermind so there's a group of people we talked 20% business and like 80% family raising kids and stuff um, we had some similar Nick and I had very very similar stories so we're kind of sharing stories about kids and stepkids and things like that and um, didn't really talk much business it was all about life you know and I couldn't I couldn't believe like Nick and I had been internet Facebook friends for all these years never really talked family stuff you know and we, we meet in person and we pretty much talk family stuff the whole time being a dad um, being a dad and an entrepreneur things like that so Again, I thought I was all alone with this, like, stepkid stuff and uh, dealing with that. Not, like, 
completely all alone. I know other people go through it, but it's just interesting. A guy that I knew for years, um, we kind of hit it off and had the same frustrations. He had a step kid, so we kind of dealt. Uh, we shared our stories of how we struggle with that. So that's the message for the video today. Um, men, you're not alone. Um, talk with other men. Um, it's super, super helpful. You know, like I got a ton out of this lunch. Like it really made my day just to kind of, I mean, it was nice to finally meet him. Um, again, I didn't think we were friends five years. I didn't know that till I just opened up the Facebook um, message, uh, Facebook message um, just before this video. And that's what sparked the video. I couldn't believe we were friends for five years, internet friends, and then we finally met. So that's the thing. You're not alone. You're not on an island. What you're going through, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of men. Oh, look at that. I hit my 10,000 steps. <laughs> I'm not even stepping, and I hit my steps. I think it's your arm movements or something, but uh, that's one of my goals for the day, so I completed that. But anyways, you're not alone. You're not on this island. Um, you're going through something. There's hundreds of thousands of men that are going through the same thing, and you can also help hundreds. Of, there's going to be hundreds of thousands of men going into this problem where you could help them, you know, whatever it is, business, life, family, raising kids, things like that, you know. So you're not alone. You're not on an island. There's many, many men with the same issues, same problems, dealing with the same frustrations, whether it's at home, like body, you know, overweight, mindset stuff, kids, business, whatever it is. You're certainly not alone. You're not on an island. And it's so easy to forget this. So um, Today's lunch really reminded me, just like that uh, time in uh, September when I met with the Nick guy, uh, really reminded me, shit, I'm not alone. <laughs> There's a ton of people that struggle and go through this. So it's kind of nice to open up to someone um, and then just kind of shake their head, like the empathy and the, the, the compassion for you, you know, but they, they really, yeah, they're like, I totally get it. Like, yes, it happens to me all the time too. So that's the little message, not really enough about business. It's more kind of just about life, but you're not alone. You're not on an island. If you need someone to talk to, reach out to me anytime. I'm always happy to help. So that's it, episode number 81. I'm going to try to get a little more consistent with this, but I can't make any promises. It's tough. Um, last couple months have been tough at home, so it affects the business. That's all I'll say about that. We'll get into that uh, more details maybe maybe in the future. But that's it for now. Um, episode number 81, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it.